We live? We are live. We live, baby. Welcome back, people. Oh, we're straight out the gate like that. Okay. I'm here for it. <sighs> Go ahead. You can continue. Pent up energy. Go ahead. I'll let you. <sighs> let you go. Starting from the fucking gate. Hold. I'm grasping this fucking mic. Okay. Welcome Pause. back to Identical Opposites. IOP, whatever the fuck you want to call us. I'm your co-host, Ian Hook. And I'm your other co-host, AJ Jackson. Why am I sitting like that? Testosterone is through the roof right now. I bet. <gasps> the table's further than... It usually is. I haven't moved it. I swear. No, there would have been indents. That's how I could tell. I don't know, man. If this I move this table right now, you'll see indents. This seems far away today. You want me to push it in? No, it's okay. I can push it in. It's okay. I can push it. Why? What do you mean, why? If you're, if you're going to make a complaint about it, well, I, I, wasn't could, gonna, I wasn't complaining about it. I was just making I can a serve observa- your complaint. I was making an observation. That's it. Would That's you all. like your observation to be made... Think of it. No. Mm. Think of it. I'll wait. Would you like your observation to come true? Uh, No, it's fine. I don't think that's even right. That's not. All right. It's not. Th- what, what, I know what you mean. I don't know the word either. So yeah, you I don't know it, right? It's like, it. would you so, like your observation to come to life? Yeah, that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, same thing is true. But anyways, I was watching Shrek this morning. Why? Just because I didn't have anything to watch. Well, I was watching it last was it night, on, but I felt. Was it on cable? Or you like, no. chose to put it on? No, I don't watch cable, but um, yeah, I watched it. I was on it last night, but I fell asleep, so I woke up to it this morning because it just looped between the first and second one all night. But what's your favorite one? I forgot that Shrek is white. Yeah, I forgot about that. You thought Shrek would be black? I mean, I feel like he would be, you know. No, I don't know. I feel like he would be. And then the second one came on, and I was like, oh, right. He turns into a white guy. He turns into a white guy. And I'm like, oh, dang. I don't know. I guess because, like, I don't know. His dynamic with Donkey, you know, Donkey's Eddie Murphy. And it's just like, yeah. but he's Irish, so it makes sense. So you, you're saying white and black people can't be friends? No, I'm not saying that. Obviously, don't go there. Don't put that narrative on me. But anyway. <laughs> that's why he doesn't fuck with me. No, but, like, I'm just saying. I forgot, like, when I think of Shrek. Between, like, the jokes and all that. I don't think of a white person, personally. Okay. All right. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just saying I just forgot. And I just found that pretty, like, interesting. I was like, oh, yeah, right. He turns into this, like, good-looking white guy. And then they choose to be You think he's good-looking white white man? I thought he was compared to what he looks like. I mean, yeah, I guess. But. I feel like he looked better than charming. I knew a guy that looked exactly like White Shrek. I think I do too. Like exactly, it was like terrifying. I don't know. What are you doing? But bro? yeah, I feel like he looks better than charming. But yeah, that's it. Did you watch Nickelodeon as a kid? Why wouldn't I? I don't know. I just he's not Nickelodeon. That's DreamWorks. Yeah. Anyways, about Nickelodeon, have you seen Quiet on Set? I haven't seen it. I've seen a lot of shit about it though. Dude, I woke up Tuesday morning, and. I didn't even know it was coming out. I didn't even know it was a thing. No, neither did I. Because the only thing I knew about it was that there was a girl on Zoe 101 that came out a while ago. Yeah, I knew, yeah. She, before this came out, she came out and said how bad it was. Right. And I think she's on. She is. I haven't watched it. I'm sorry. I haven't watched it. But she talked about like how she was like cast for the boys. The boys? Like Uh, the prime? For like the guys like in the show. Like, oh yeah, 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 all right. yeah, yeah, yeah So like yeah, yeah. her, like she got really like, and um, all the other girls on the set like bullied the fuck out of her, uh-huh. and that's what she said in her interview before. Yeah, because like Britney out. Spears like yelled at her. Yes, something in yes. The, the Is that in this? Stuff. No, it wasn't. In okay, this. That all right. So you saw one. that though. Yeah, I saw that. All right. Yeah. So that that was on and, a podcast. She was on a podcast saying that. Yeah, it's really bad how like verbally and like just every like she got abused, dude. And there uh, was um, I don't know her name. But um, it's Sam, Sam from My Carly. Oh, Jeanette um, McCurdy. Yeah, I can't get she her got, last name. She right. got fucked like up. Yeah. Well, she wrote a book about. I shouldn't it. have I didn't paused read a, there. I didn't read a time to pause, but I didn't read the book. But I did watch it. But yeah, I woke up Tuesday morning. I didn't know it was coming out. I didn't know anything about it. And then like my whole TikTok Tuesday morning before yeah. going to work was like. Was on Netflix? Straight. No, it's on Max. Uh, straight. Oh. 
like uh, quiet on set, and I was just like, "What the heck is this?" And then it goes into like Drake Bell and whatever, whatever. But Fuck you're probably Drake gonna watch. Bell, it. I was gonna go into it, but it doesn't spoil like. I don't care. I don't care. You just we just talk about it because it's interesting. I'll still watch it. Yeah. But fuck Drake Bell. Why? Because dude, he went to jail for like talking to a twelve year old. Yeah, but he. <laughs> it, I I don't. Are you serious? Yeah, that's weird. Like, but isn't that what happened to him? And yeah, he was just exactly. like, let me do it on somebody else. That's the else. thing. Like, I think he was just traumatized, and, and now he's like, protecting his up. image. But. Yeah. By saying, like, I only did that because of this. Yeah, I don't agree with that, but I'm just saying, like, that was crazy. Like, you're disgusting. It's kind of crazy how it was kept secret. I guess because he was underage at the time, you're supposed to, like, keep it confidential. Yeah. But that was a shock. But, yeah, it starts off with, like, early Nickelodeon, like, with uh, the Amanda show and, like, uh Have you seen what she looks like? like that. Yeah, she has, like... Bro, face tat. I she's saw, terrifying. They put pictures of her in the documentary of her like now, and I'm like, whoa. Like, she's so scary, dude. She's so scary. But like, it goes back to like what we was talking about in like an early podcast about how childhood stars they just was doing like all this crazy shit, shit like all on set shit. and stuff like that. But like, yeah, it starts with her and how Dan Schneider was like. I want her, like, she's going to be, like, the it girl, like, basically, like, the yeah. it girl of Nickelodeon, which of she Amanda? was. Yeah, Amanda. And then, like, you know, his jokes are super inappropriate, They're like, gross. on the show and They're stuff gross. like that. And I've already heard that before watching this. Apparently, like, he was the one that got her, like, pregnant when she was, like, yeah, like, young. I don't know if I should say the age on here, because I don't know. <laughs> like, But she was young, basically. Like, when she was Yeah, she was underage as fuck, like. <laughs> but Fuck. um that's a rumor it wasn't confirmed but uh yeah it starts off with that and then it goes into like because you know drake bell was on the amanda show and then it all started on the amanda show like yeah like the they, were, they were on there yeah like, even like josh peck was yeah so like every like the producers or like the behind the scenes people yep. the cat like the behind the scenes cast was the problem of Nickelodeon, but because Dan Schneider became so popular, that cast was just going to show to show to show. Yeah. So like they was hitting show to show to show. I feel like I don't. I know I just started this podcast off like all like aggressive and shit like that. I'm not even. I don't even know friends. I don't know these people. They don't. Well, I know, like I know who they are. They don't know me. But I'm not related to any of them. And I want to fuck up Dan Schneider for that. Oh, like, yeah. Like, I'm angry about it. But the like, real... Well, like, can you imagine what their families like, are like? I'd be fucking That's what people. I want to get into because Dan Schneider was like... He was a key player, but, like, it was really the Brian Peck dude. Brian He's Peck in jail, was the though, one, right? Yeah, Brian Peck was the one that... He related did to Josh Drake, Peck? Huh? Is he related to Josh Peck? No, I don't think okay. so. Okay. But um, he was, like, the coach like you know how acting coach yeah. like yeah mm -hmm. so he was the coach of like every show or whatever and he's the one that did it to like drake bell but he was the real problem and then there was another guy who was a pedo um basically but like it goes into like the parents like the parents come into like interview too and it's just like some of the interviews was just like yeah like i seen it happen or like one of them was like the one of the cat or director people emailed a new to one of the underage girls saying like i sent you that because i want you to know that i'm thinking about you and like da 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 and she was like i just didn't want to call the cops because i didn't want uh lose my job or to like embarrass her or think that i'm a bad parent or da da da, da. and i'm just like bro like you're just letting this happen. You're letting that happen. And then... You're antagonizing it. But other parents, like, Drake Bell's dad was, like, he knew from the jump. Like, he knew how, like, weird Brian Peck was and, like, how he was so close to Josh. Um, Not Josh. Drake. <laughs> Drake. He was so close to Drake all the time. And he was like, bro, something's up. Something's weird. So he, like, told the people. He was like, nah, bro's just gay. Like, he's just, like, a touchy-feely type of guy. And he was like, okay, but, like... Okay, so he was he never left Drake Bell out his sight basically when he was around uh, the Brian guy, and then Brian, you know, he ends up developing I guess this crush and like obsession with Drake. Yeah, sounds calls like the it. mom. Yeah, obviously calls the mom, and like the mom and dad are like divorced. They're like you know they don't really talk other than like you know about Drake. So 
calls the mom, get in her head, like, yo, like, Drake needs to change his manager because his dad was his manager at the time. And the right. dad was, like, not letting shit slide, basically. Yeah, good for fucking him. And he was just like, yeah, you need to change. He needs to change his manager. They called the dad and it was like, yeah, like, Drake doesn't want you to be his manager anymore. Da, da, da. Bro's like, for real, we're, we're keeping Drake's dad, like... He needs to be protected at all times. Like, he's my new favorite person based <laughs> on, like, watching that. Like, bro was, he, I felt for him so bad because he was one of the parents that was just, like, I tried to stop it. And, like, he knew from the get-go. And the then, fact like, that there's other parents that were just, like, I knew about it, but I didn't want to do shit. That's what I'm saying. There was, like, Fuck five, you, dude. There was, Fuck like, five you. parents like that. And he was, like, the only one that was, like, or there was a black mom on there and she was like she noticed it and they got kicked off because she called it out so like her and her son they was like not Cut. called back from like another season because she called it out so it was like her and then drake bell's dad and he was like yeah i'm gonna do this because if that's what you really want to do he was like it broke my heart and da, da, da. so you like transfer it all like the bank accounts to the mom figure it out da, da, da. but the mom doesn't drive so like brian peck was driving bro no. drake to auditions no. and all that stuff and da, da 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 and then when they finally caught him like when drake was finally like all right i'm done no finally caught him he calls his dad and his dad's like or he's like did you hear like they got him da, 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 for like sexual assault and drake's dad's like oh thank god like i knew like one day he was gonna uh do this to somebody and I'm glad they called him before they touched you. Didn't know like he was the guy that like no. Yes, bro. Like I'm over here like, bro, I'm feeling nah. it. I'm like and Drake was like I just couldn't tell him. Like I couldn't tell him that it was me. So even on that conversation he was just like, "Oh yeah." Yeah, he was just going he was like, "Yeah, like I know like he he didn't touch me." Da, 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 da. And then, like, so when did he tell his dad? I think like after like the trial and everything. Okay. Cuz like they they asked him. They was well, like, I'm sure like when they're in court, like he has to be. Brought. He wasn't. Uh, he wasn't there in court. Drake wasn't. No, the dad was. Well, yeah, but like Drake's in court for it. Like I'm sure like it'll come out. Like, no, sure. it was all kept under wraps because oh. he was underage. Oh. It's all, all confidential. Okay. So it wasn't okay. even like covered by news. It was covered by news. Like they knew Brian Peck was yeah. getting trial, but, but they couldn't. They, they couldn't, they couldn't show. say the other okay. person. Yeah. Okay. They couldn't say Drake. Bell. Which is crazy, even like that they that that protection law. Even again for a star like him, yeah, um, I still disagree with what Drake did. That was disgusting. Oh like, yeah, of course. But like, still, like that's very sad. But yeah, so like the dad was just like, "I'm so glad I didn't touch you." I'm just like, "Bro, like you just don't know." And then like they asked him, they was like, "What? What was your feelings like once you found out?" And he just like starts breaking down. Like he was just like, "I still, I'm not like the same man." Da da da. Because like that's hard. Like being a parent, I'm not a parent obviously, but I can like. I can see in the future if that ever happened and yeah. I like I found out like that would break, break the down. shit out of me, I'd you know? Down. And it was just like he tried to stop it and nobody listened to him. And that's just the crazy part of me. Some people see that fame and they they go with it and that's disgusting. It's so disgusting. Yeah. It was and to find out it was Drake's girlfriend's mom who like picked up on everything that got him to like finally like confess. Oh yeah, that so like he, she brought it out of him. Yeah, basically, it was it was it was it was a crazy a crazy. I wish they went more in depth though. It was only like four episodes long. Okay, but yeah, it's just crazy. So how did much they just focus on Drake pretty much? Sorry, Drake was the main for like I think an episode or two, but the first ones were like about Amanda and like the all that cast. She is scary. <laughs> she is scary. She is scary. <laughs> but she's traumatized probably probably but she's terrifying yeah but she was the it girl for a long long time yeah i saw a thing it was just like the on tiktok it was like the time lapse like a year by year of amanda Bynes, and Ugh. it was just like going into and then from what she looked like then to now it's just like Oop. i don't know uh, it's some, just it's crazy to me some how stars like, just freak the fuck out yeah demi lovato freak the fuck out and that's what i'm saying like if that happened on nick I'm hoping, I'm praying it didn't happen on Disney. Like, people were like, oh, my childhood's ruined. People knew about Dan Schneider, though. Yeah, like, that's what I'm I, saying. Like, even, like, a while ago, like, I knew of a name, Dan Schneider, being creepy. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, before this came out, before, like, more shit came out, before 
Sam, what's her name? Jeanette? Jeanette. Jeanette like came out. Or and was, something. Because, like, her mom's fucked up. Yeah. Her mom was just, like, all for that shit. Yeah. And that's why she's like, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> she never talked to her mom. Fuck that. No, it's just, like, people were like, oh, my childhood's ruined. And I was like, yes, I grew up watching Nick. But, like, like you said, like, everybody knew Dan Schneider. Everybody knew, like, the inappropriate jokes on Nick. Like, yeah. it wasn't nothing new. Like, yes, the sexual assaulting on the back end, yeah, that's kind of new i didn't know the actions were actually being acted on but um, now, let me ask you in the show in the docuseries um dan schneider's not in jail yet did they mention like if they're still trying to get him in jail they put up clips of text when they like went to go ask him about all these basically truth allegations yeah as of now but he denied everything he was like Every single text said, we asked him, he said that did not happen, da 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 And the only thing he did say, he was like, nothing of that sort happened with me, but I realized I could have been a better executive producer Shut the and fuck did up. stuff, like, differently. Yeah, fuck you, dude. And I'm just like, bro, whatever. Fuck you, dude. But yeah, it's just, it's just crazy to me how that happens. But going back to the childhood thing, my childhood wasn't ruined because of, like, I knew Nick was dirty, but if it was Disney, like if they did one on Disney and that happened, I feel like my childhood would be ruined. Disney did some other things though. Like I feel like, I feel like Nick had so many shows that were like, like the kids on their own. Does that make sense? Like, like Drake and Josh, like they were like kids, but like, it was like, so like adult, like they were like, just like, so like perceived as like grown up, right. like doing right. all these things. Like, Things like that, like those type of shows. Right. Um, I Carly, like, you know. Yeah, they, they didn't do, have a parent at they all. They didn't have a parent at all. Like, <laughs> it's just like, I feel like Disney was like more like. Period. Aw, like, you know what I mean? But like, I feel like Disney. It was, I feel like, yeah, I feel it like Disney was so just m- not monitored, but like Disney was probably kept like raps. Like, yeah. You know, like. You know, Nickelodeon, like, Ned's the Classified, the fucking people on Yeah, there. right. Like, they're saying they're doing all this fucking shit. We talked about it on the other podcast. They, they were just doing their own thing, dude. I feel like Disney was... I, we don't know shit, dude. We I could feel, be completely wrong. But, but like... Um, my perception of that is that it it wasn't the same. I don't, yeah, that's what I think. I don't think so. I think that, like, Disney stars go a little crazy because of, of course, child labor. Like, they're probably doing... Disney twenty four seven absolutely without any breaks and then no also fr- like they have no life anymore like what you're saying like Disney's kind of like a baby program not a baby no, program but no. like more like you yeah. have to be the good old like clean slate yeah, like nothing more, to you type of yeah like you're very image you're very innocent and that's yeah I don't know if that sounds wrong to say but like you know what I mean it's like. It's more innocent look. It's just more like, I don't know, not friendly. It's just like more, I don't know. You right. know what no, I mean? I get what it, you're is, it is a more innocent vibe, like to the, to the show itself. Not even like those actors who are playing it. Like, you can just see that you're like, oh, like that person works on there, but like they wouldn't work on like Drake and Josh. Right. They wouldn't work that, like, this person works for this Disney show, like live action, but they wouldn't work on Ike Harley. Right. Something like that. But, like, what else, What was another show I was just going to bring up? Shit, it just came to my head. What oh, it? it just came to my head. Damn. What, what is it? Oh, my God, I can't think Disney of it. Or it Nick? was just, basically, uh, I'll, maybe I'll remember it, but basically it was just going off of, like, a, a green and, like, adding on to what we're talking about right now. It's just that Nick had, Nick was doing their own fucking shit. Right. Like, Nick was doing their own shit. Right. And... I feel like if that ever happened with... Like, Disney has more animated shows, and they have, like, more, like, just, like, so innocent. Like, you think... You look at, like, some of the Nick shows, and then you look at something like, I don't know, like, Good Luck Charlie. Like, it's so innocent, like, family-oriented, like... Like, that... that, No. It's just different... Completely different vibes. Yeah, there was... I would say there was more adult cast members on Disney than there were on Nickelodeon. Or they were perceived as more adults. Yeah. What do you mean? I'm saying like, like adults, period. Yeah, like, I know, but and they're uh, old, and when they went not the adults, just the kids, they were even perceived as like old. Oh, like, yeah, right, right. They weren't actually perceived as older, older. They were just like what their day-to-day life was. Right. It was just like 
you're not Straight like you kid. don't do this as like a 15 year old kid yeah i don't know dude it's just like i know my parents would not let like it would be so raps for me in the acting career like if i was trying to be a kid actor and that yeah. shit was happening raps well my my parents <laughs> my, bu- my buddy michael was doing it as a little kid uh-huh. he's actually like he's in a few things like like mainstream things like he's in a um He's in a Law Law and Order SEU show. He's in Spider Man Three. Oh, okay. Um, but like, I was just like, you know, extras or like plays like the little kid like involved in like the show. Like it's like Law and Order, right? Um, he couldn't fucking stand it. Like, like they he like at the one time like he just was a you know a cute kid. Then people wanted to cast him, and Mm -hmm. boom, boom, boom. And he was just like, I can't stand this, and like. He's in the he's in the Marines now, like oh, okay. like Marines now tied up, like it's just so like, you're so like man, yeah, and like he, like you wouldn't believe you're gonna be like yeah, I was a childhood actor, <laughs> like you would have never believed, and like some people just like fucking can't stand it, yeah, or some like some kid, I'm I'm not gonna lie, some kids, I don't know if this was in the show, but like some kids were probably just like I need to do this to make it. Yeah, that's what some kids, yeah, a couple of them mentioned that. But, like, I guess it's just, that's like, the, it's the image thing for everybody. Like, once you're in that type of thing, all eyes are on you. I think I decked that motherfucker in the face at, like, 14 years old. Like, that ass. I would not give a fuck about yeah. fame. If somebody tried to touch me, bro, but like, bro, I'm fucking your shit. I would say that, like, I would say that now. But, like, as a 15-year-old kid who's trying to make it into, like, you know, Hollywood. You think you would let it slide for a little bit? When he's controlling your whole, like, career. You think you would let it slide for a little bit? <laughs> it's all right. I probably... Not... Probably not as long, but, like, yeah. I, like, there's... Like, you got to think about it. This is his whole career. I mean, if, if I was, like... If I was like in a mainstream show, like the star, especially back then, yeah, it's like the star of it. I could deal with some comments, but as soon as a motherfucker gets close to me, nah. It's like that's what I'm saying. Like I would say that now. Like now, thinking back on it, yes, but like comments, I could handle. Think about wait comments. Yeah, like the comments being said to the kids, like the inappropriate like comments. Oh yeah, that's like, I can I can brush that off for a little bit if I'm doing that. But oh, I can brush off words. I'm just saying, like if I'm you were about in physical, yeah, if you're in Drake's bell, Drake Bell's, like if you were him back then, yeah, you're just now getting your new sh- your own show. You're not on the main show anymore. You're just now getting your own show, Drake and Josh. Da da da. Your whole career is running through your manager because your manager is also best buddies with. Yeah. The guy that's making the show. I just, I, I want to believe, like, no, I, I don't it. blame I'm not, the kid I'm at not all. Judging. I'm, the I'm not judging. I parents. see where, I see, like, and you're young, too. Like, I can see where things can get a little, a little messy, where, like, it's just, like, letting, letting shit slide. It's disgusting to me, but I understand it. Right. You know what I mean? It's really disgusting. Um, I think of it as, like, myself perspective, and I think as, like, a parent perspective, and, like, Either way, I just see fucking red. Like, yeah, of course. Like, of oh course, you're gonna God. be mad at the mad at the situation that's happening. It's not like, oh, I'm just gonna like let yeah. it happen. But like, yeah. he's controlling your whole career. Absolutely. Like, there's yeah. no way to absolutely say fuck off and then still work. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you're blacklisted from rest of Hollywood. Now, Nickelodeon seemed very, very fucking toxic. Like, as a kid, mm-hmm. like, you're probably, like, scared. Yeah. Like, you're probably scared of just, like, the constant shit going on 24-7. Like, that girl that was on Zoe 101, mm-hmm. like, okay, she probably got, she got comments from Dan Schneider, I'm sure. Yeah, for sure. But also, like, every single girl bullying the fuck out of her, like, on yeah. set, on stage. Dude, like, can you imagine, like, you're, like, you're that age, like 14, mm-hmm. right? You're 14 years old, let's say. You're 14. You're making money for your family. Yeah, exactly. You are a star exactly. right, at this point. You are perceived by kids like upset, like like obsessed with you in, in the show. Like, right. like they love, like they love you. And you're trying to like 
you're trying to do all that and like make everyone happy. Like you're making money and I'll, you know, da da da. And like, you have like all this professional setup, like you have a manager, you have all this, blah, blah. and on the, like, you're trying to be like, okay, I'm doing all this and just getting trashed on right every day, bro. I'm like good for her for being normal. Not well, normal. Like, I'm sure Amanda Bynes like thinks her life is normal. Mm-hmm. It, to me, it's a little weird, like how she turned out. But like, I'm not. I wouldn't be surprised if like she did something like on those lines. I don't know the girl's name. No, from Zoey One Hundred One. But you know what I mean. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if she went out something like that and did something drastic and outrageous because, like, that's traumatizing. Like, twenty four seven, you're getting shit on or getting inappropriate comments to you. I don't know the details of what, like, was done to her or anything like that, but it's fucking a lot. Yeah. It's a lot to take on. Like, can you imagine, like, trying to, you know, like, throw that under the table whilst, like, just trying to do, like, your, like, what you're there for. Yeah. Your job. Like, your, yeah, like, their job. I don't know, man. But, yeah. F the parents. It would be a huge F you to my parents, honestly. Well, I wouldn't talk to them. <laughs> I wouldn't talk to them. I wouldn't talk to them. But, yeah, it's just, it's it's sad. But just wanted to bring that up. I guess not this long, but. I don't have Max, but I want to watch it. I think Max is the only thing I, oh, Max and Peacock I don't have. I That's have so relevant, but, like, sorry, guys. You probably don't give a fuck, but, like, <laughs> I don't have Max and Peacock. No, but yeah, it's a it's a it's a good watch. It's heavy, but it's a good watch, I would say. So, Man. if y'all looking for something else to watch on TV, go watch Quiet on Set. Did you watch um, the program? Yes, bro. Me and my sister watched that while she was braiding my hair one time. And bro, oh my god, again, f you to the <laughs> parents, bro. Because there is no way. Bro. There is no way. You're about to drop me off with no contact at all. I have to earn contact to contact you. There's no way. There's no way. I'll probably, I'm not even going to lie, bro. Uh -uh. With my mental health back then, I would probably end it. (laughs) I hate to say that, but like, there's no way. You couldn't talk to people. You couldn't look them in the eyes. Oh my God. Bro, like, if you don't know what we're talking about, it's this show on Netflix called The Program, and it's basically it's basically about this boarding school-ish thing or well, correction. Well, there's multiple, but yeah. they talk about one in particular that's, like, the worst. Yeah, and it's, like, this correction center. So, like, troubled kids go there. But to, they're really not troubled. They're, they're not at all. Like, the, the freaking Here's examples a- were so stupid. It was like, oh, I saw her drink a Mike's Hard. Being a regular high school teen yeah. kid... Like, you're lying if you're... Okay, but, like, the program, like, the school, the school, quote-unquote, like, the whatever it is, correction center or boarding school, Yeah. what they do is, like, they promote, like, the pamphlet as, like, this, like, beautiful place that they're going to, like, straighten out your kid. Like, they have, like, kids, like, playing outside at recess Mm -hmm. and, like, all these things and, like, just, like, promoted as such, like, a nice, beautiful place on like the outside. and everything. rehab center, basically. Yeah, like, such a nice place. Like, your kid's going to love it here, but they're also going to come out a better person. Like, that was, like, the whole thing. And they get there, and it's just literally prison. Like... The worst than prison, I would say. I don't know if it was the... I, uh, I didn't watch all the way through. My boss told me that there's either a brother that went and the sister tagged along, or the sister went and the brother tagged along. But in the interview, they were just like, I actually didn't even do anything. My parents were just like, oh, we're just sending you, mm-hmm. like, them there. Like, you might as well go, too. Like, so they, I'm pretty sure it was a sister that I just tagged along. And she was just like, I didn't do a thing. Like, right. I just went because he went. Right. And I was like, bro, like, a fucking imagine. It was just basically this huge scheme. This huge, huge. scheme for the head guy to make tons of money. Because, like... They were, like you said, they were just promoting that it's like this beautiful place. And then like you get in there, they couldn't talk to each other. They couldn't yeah. look at each other. Couldn't do anything. Guys and girls are on like separate buildings, which is fine. They were getting but, fed like this disgusting ass food. Yeah. And like it was a point system. So like you couldn't graduate until you got to like the fifth level of the points. And you never get there. Yeah. You never really get there. So if you like look 
up or make eye contact with somebody that's like minus 10 points. So like, it's just like crazy deductions all day long. Yeah. They're getting there's some physically where, beaten. Like there's some things pretty where bad. um like their points just go from like wherever they are all the way oh, back yeah, to zero, all the way back to zero. So like you can be on level four about to hit level five, and then if Boom, you done. look at somebody back down to zero, like they would take they would they would beat the fuck out of them. Yeah, beat like, the fuck out of beat, them. Not even like punch them. Like they will punch them, but like literally two hundred pound men tackling these hundred pound dudes and girls like on the ground like. You would think like the way they hit the floor automatically death. Like it was, it would be like insane. But yeah, we watched that and that was that was crazy too. What what else? Oh, was crazy that I saw. Um, oh, that the kids would write them their parents' letters like "Get me the fuck out of oh, here," yeah, and they, and they would take them because they and had then they, and then the, the then the school would write them and just be like, "Your kids like lying. doing like sneaking drugs, right. or, like this is a big drug head and." If you believe them, uh, you got to see through through the program. If you you can't let them not finish the program and da da da, like it was. Oh, I would be so upset. My parents probably like y'all put me through hell. Cult for sure. And then they had those like conferences or like those what it, training days or whatever, and they would have to like take these towels rolled in duct tape and like beat it on the ground and yell for like hours on end like five hours straight and if you stop you have to go to another room where you're like sitting here like straight up in a chair and like mm-hmm. flipping your hands and saying this thing it's over like and the, over again what yeah is it? It's it was like, like hands up hands down close apart something like that but they had to say that over and over again hours. And do it for like and they yeah. asked her they was like how long did that last she was like eight to nine hours like just sitting there like doing that like, and no. it just breaks you yeah, I don't know how they're okay. Like they're not okay, obviously, but like I don't know how you're still like functioning. As I don't know how you're alive. Yeah, bro, I no no. But like I say, f you to the parents because it's all parents' consent. Like they send them off. Yeah, they did it to the the place. They don't know, but like, the, but, but like, then the, again, why are you sending your child to a place where you don't know? Yeah. What's going on there? Like, if you really, like, nowadays, and even back then, like, if you have to send your kid somewhere, like, you're not a good parent. Exactly. In general. Like, there's nothing they could do where you're just like, we're going to find you help. With the parents. Like, with us. The ones that birthed you. Right. Like, oh, we're just going to send you away. We'll see you in a year or two. Whoa, what? Like, get yeah. the fuck out of here. What are you talking about? Yeah, that It's just like... Go ahead. No, it's just like, like even if my kid was doing drugs, yeah. like, okay, cool, let's fucking find you rehab that's right. by the house, and right. we can boom do all this shit. Why are you sending them fucking God knows fucking where and just right. be like, peace, right? No peace contact out. though. That's the crazy. fuck. Get the fuck out of here. Like, you just don't want to be a parent at that point. Yeah, me and my sister was saying, or we was talking about this, and I was like, my thought process is that you know back then because it was like quite a long time ago you know people were just getting married for the sake of getting married they didn't really want to be married or they had the kid before they got married and then now they're married with kids and they really don't want the kid you know what i'm saying so like that one tick of like a normal teenage teenager just doing teenage things with yeah, their t- teenage friends drinking a beer, like, drinking a beer one oh. time, one time, and then you're gonna send them off to this thing, or they're you know out late one night and comes back past curfew. I'm gonna send them off to this thing, but like you just didn't want your kid. Like that's the no. end of the day. Like, like you didn't want to take care of your kid. You are such. You are not prepared to be. You are not pre- prepared to be a parent in the slightest. Right. If that even crosses your mind, right. You have to fight to help your kid no matter what and just set and be like, peace. And then, like, it shows, like, you don't think they wrote, like, your kid wrote you one letter and every single time it's, you're getting something from the school mm-hmm. or boarding, whatever it is, that it's just from them saying how bad they are. Like, you don't think they're improving at all, if the, even if that was the case, or, like, you don't think they're just writing you to say hi. If you don't, if you really don't believe that your kid is trying to attempt to write you, like that they don't miss their own goddamn parents, right? Like you, you know that you're a shitty parent and that you didn't have a relationship with them. If you're just like, oh yeah, that's that's normal that they wouldn't reach out to me. Or like the one, the like they come 
<laughs> they come home past curfew. That's the reason you sent them. Now they're a drug addict in a yeah. correction facility. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like what? Like that didn't make sense to me at all. That it didn't click. Like it just didn't click for them. And I just don't understand like hundreds, thousands of people all around the world was sent to these camps. And it's still happening. It's still happening. Oh, absolutely. It's still happening. And you it's still, crazy. You see that um, in the beginning of that docuseries, they, um, she, she met up, like the main girl that's doing the docuseries that was mm-hmm. involved in it, she met up with one of the correction officers. Right. It was a woman. Yeah. And they went to a diner. Yeah, they had to get out. And one <laughs> of the guys, his wife, worked at the diner mm-hmm. and kicked him out. Like, fuck you, whore. Yeah. I almost called her a whore. Well, they <laughs> they went to that one guy who's a pastor now. He's a pastor now. They went to his church, and they were asking him questions, and he was like, yeah, I answered them, da-da-da, and they started, like, getting to the juicy stuff. They was like, do you feel bad for what was going on or what you did in that process? And he was like, well, if this is turning into an interrogation, I don't want to do it, da 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 I didn't have anything to do with that. I was just doing I what I been was like, told. fuck. You. And then, like, the other people were, or another woman was like, it took me about, like, two months to figure out what was really going to happen. And I was like, it would have took me, like, two hours yeah. to figure out what was happening in the whole place. Like, there was one lady that quit after a week because she was just like, and I was like, it wouldn't even have taken me a week. Like, a couple hours, no. I'm like, Bro, You knew what? first day when they were just like, here's your first job. Right. Well, they were saying, like, they were telling, they were corrupting their workers, too, because right. they yep. were telling them that these are like yeah. trouble, like, yeah, like real they're, trouble, they're like they the kill worst people. The worst. Like, yeah, like <laughs> they were telling them that they are supposed to be in jail right now. So yeah. like, they're like, okay, by any means you have to like detain these people. Yeah. I saw a kid that was on there and um, like, I guess like, I don't know, I guess some, he was doing something like, I don't know, uh, at his desk and like a correction officer, like hit, went like this to him or like pushed mm-hmm. him. And, like, he thought it was, like, another kid. So yeah. he, like, got up like this. Yeah. And as soon as he did that, bro, bro, he t- like, said, like, he's, like, I got my ass fucking whooped. Like, he's, like, I never got beat down that fucking bad because I came back at him. Like, Ugh. they're not, they don't come back at them because they know how it's just going to be so much worse. Right. And he just got his ass fucking beat. It's so sad out here, y'all. So sad. We're kids in general. We're blessed. I am blessed that my childhood was not... I mean, of course, there's traumatic things, but not yeah. as traumatic as, whew, yeah. Lord, have mercy. I would not be the same. I would not be the same. I probably look like Amanda Bynes right now. Yeah. I was wondering, if, are you still friends with, like, people back in the day? We're taking a totally, completely turn from what we was talking about. But yeah. I just, I'm just wondering, because I have a thought on that. Okay, go. I was asked F- you. Finish. I asked you. No, you I didn't. said... Do, are you still friends with people like from like in your childhood? Childhood, yeah. Like from back. I'm home? I'm friends with more people from my childhood than I am from high school. But like high school too, like from like back home. Basically. Oh yeah, but like I'm friends. It's like, when my mom got my mom. Yeah, when my mom got really sick when we moved mm-hmm. up. Um, oh right, I forgot about that. Yeah. But, um, we like my childhood friends like aren't in the same aren't in the area that I went to high school. Right. So that's like that's why I said that. Right. Like I have a lot more childhood friends that I'm still friends with um, than I am in high school. Uh, I still have high like friends from high school. Yeah. And a lot of good connections. Right. Like there's a lot of people from my high school that were older than me that like you know mm-hmm. I I think I think the world of them. Um, but I wouldn't say like close close friends. What about college? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, my five best friends, like we, our group, like five to six, like best best friends mm-hmm. are are all from college. Okay. okay. Yeah, Co- college is very strong friendship set. I think that's true in everything. I think you agree. Like you, you, you have closer friends in college than you do in high school. Mm, yes and no. They're kind of like the same. I also, I also have a lot more different friends in college because. I was able to really just like kind of like go into like my own like self more in college where I was just like, I don't know, my town was very small. So like there was like when you're a guy and you when you're a guy and you play sports at the school, like you only wear a certain of certain things like you don't go out there, like mm-hmm. you don't do anything crazy or whatever, like you just don't. 
you know, like everybody has like one, like one or two different haircuts. Like mm-hmm. every everything's just the fucking same, dude. Like it was, it was, it was just how it was. And like you just, every, when there was a trend of what you wore, wore everybody did it. Mm-hmm. Everybody fucking did it. Everybody was a fucking clone. Like, oh, like we're wearing Jordan. Like everybody's wearing Jordan sides to like for pregame basketball games. Like, yep, we're all wearing Jordan sides. Like that is just it. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. Shit like that. So, like, I really was just, like, a fucking clone, and I was just, like, not really doing shit on my own. And then, like, like then I got to, like, college, and I was just, like, oh, fuck yeah. Like, but not, like, that I changed my personality. I was just, like, I don't know. I was just, like, more open and things like that, and I just, like, have, like, a more diverse group. Like, you know, I just had a very diverse group of friends because, like, I'm very just open. Mm-hmm. Like, if, like, we vibe, we vibe. Like, it's just, I don't know. It was just who I was. So, like, I was, like... My friend group in college is a lot. Like, it was very diverse Mm -hmm. and, like, different things. Like, there's people I met from the gym. There's people met met through football. There's people I met through my fraternity. Other, like, um, other, um, what do you call it, Um, Greek organizations, blah, blah, blah. So, like, it was just, like, a lot. Mm -hmm. People people from my major, you know, that are, like, completely different from me. Right. So, like, I think that was cool. But I just went completely off of your question, completely off the rip, like, just, like, went way off. Oh, it goes it, with it. In the gray zone. It does. But um, childhood friends, yeah. Like, um, like I was telling you about, like, my friend that was a childhood actor. Uh-huh. I, like, like we don't see each other very often because he's all, the, all like, over for being in the Marines. Mm-hmm. Like, he has a wife now that, um, you know, they just got married. Um, very different lives. Like, but, yeah. like, I would still, like, consider him one of my close friends. Um, yeah. Do you? See, that's why I wanted to bring it up because I have friends, but I don't have, I have a, I wouldn't even call them acquaintances because they are my friends, but they're not my, like, we don't hang out or talk every day type of thing. Like, if we see each other on the street or see each other, like, somewhere, we'd be like, oh, what's up, bro, da, da, da. Yeah. But, like, I don't really have, like, friends, and I bring that up From because. high school or childhood. High school, childhood, college, like, I just, it's. Like, they're my friends, but we're not, like, oh, let's meet up here or let's meet up there, mm-hmm. other than, like, Cole and Logan, who y'all met, who you met this past weekend. Mm-hmm. But um, it's just, like, I say that because I don't think I would be where I am now if I didn't let all my past relationship friendships go. Yeah. And I just, I just, I think about that often. I'm, like, where would I be if I still hung out with so-and-so or where would i be if i still hung out with those people or well you are you, know? you do start to become them in a way like you know like like your like your close five friends like right. their actions like you are going to reciprocate that energy so like oh. i've seen that in a lot of like motivational podcasts where it's like where they say you know you don't, Sorry, you know, you're <laughs> curious where you are in life, but like your uh, your closest friends that you hang out with every day aren't doing jack shit, right? And they're, you know, okay, that's there, that's fucking reason number one. Like, right. like you like take on that energy almost. Like now down here, like, um, like in college, my like I said, my five five six closest friends, like they're all doing their shit, starting their careers, so like they're all fucking hungry as fuck, and they oh like. We always were in college getting ready and hungry to be where we are right now Right. for that. Now down here, I have that too because you are like the only, you, like you're the only exception. Everybody, all of my other friends are fucking older. Yeah. And they're all like hungry as fuck to be successful, to finally settle, settle into what they like want. Like they're figuring that out, you know, everything. Like they're, so like, it's just like both are, both groups are very like hungry and like motivated for success, so that makes me always want that. Right. It's it's different type of like w- success, like that they want. Like you know, us and like my college friends, like we're you know hungry to learn of like what we're gonna be doing. Right. They're in that stage now. My, down here, my friends down here are in that stage, and they're just like now they figured it out. Mm-hmm. Now they're just hungry to just re like up like just vamp it like to. Put it to 10. Right, right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That makes sense. I don't even know what we just went off of. I just like... Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, it makes sense. Brain was, just, bro, my just, brain was firing. Yeah, I know. But I was just saying like... 
I just think about that often. Yeah. I would not, like, I know for certain I wouldn't be where I am if I didn't, like, kind of veer off on my own. You had some shitty friends, right? My junior year. No, they weren't shitty. Oh. They just didn't have the same mindsets, I guess. But, like. That's what I mean. Like, you didn't, like, it wasn't similar mindsets. Like, at that point where if you kept them, your mindset would kind of not be different. I think, you know. It wouldn't be different. It would just be, like, slowly progressive. Like, yeah. I wouldn't That's be. That's what happens. Like, you take on the energy slowly and slowly. Yeah. So, I mean, like, I'm saying, like, it wouldn't be different. Like, I'll still, i kind of still be the same person, but I wouldn't be acting on it if I was. Yeah. But, like, yeah, they weren't shitty. It's just, like, I just know, I just know I wouldn't, I wouldn't be where I am or where I am going now if. I still had those friendships. Right. I still have them, but like as close as they were. Okay. Anyways. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys. We're going to close this out. Yeah. We are hitting. Take a little break from the game. 45 minutes. <laughs> but, uh, oh, yeah. We, no, take a break. Yeah. We're going to not do that. I was agreeing with you. I just, okay. uh, yeah. I don't <laughs> but anyways, thank you. I always want to say thank you back. Jesus Christ. English. Thank you. Thank kindly. you. <laughs> thank you for coming back thank you on kindly. another Thursday to IOP Identical Opposites podcast slash show. Whatever you want to. Oh, are we gonna be IOPS? The IOPS. IOPS. We're the ops. <laughs> ops. But uh, yeah, thank you Love. for tuning back in. Uh, make sure y'all, if you're listening to this on audio, make sure you go to the YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button, and watch a couple videos because we are pretty. We are handsome. We look good. Look good. So come see our faces. If you are on YouTube and watch this video right now, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We hit two thousand. I mean, oh, 200 subscribers. Wish. <laughs> 2,000. I had to add another zero on that. But we hit 200 subscribers. So thank y'all for that. Let's hit 500 He's manifesting. next. You know what He's I'm manifesting. saying? I've been manifesting, baby. But yeah, uh, follow the TikTok and uh, Instagram for daily, weekly Clips, clips, videos, bullshit. From our episodes. Yeah. And our crazy topics. I'm going through them now and I'm like, why? What What do we even talk about? They're cool though. They're nice. They're out there. They're out there. They're out there. But yeah, that's it for this video or this uh, show, podcast, whatever episode. There we go. Episode. However the fuck <laughs> you're tuning in right now. We fucking love y'all. We'll see you next time. Bye. Peace. <laughs>